Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yay! We're writing a poem. Yeah. All right. So, so Doki Doki right now. What we need to first off, Doki Doki. That's the onomatopoeia for heartbeat in Japan, it's right? The onomatopoeia for uh, uh, excited heartbeat. Excited heartbeat. Oh, There's okay. Dokun Dokun, which is a nervous heartbeat as well. Uh -huh. Huh. It's weird. It's like a romantic excited. Okay. Yeah. Romance. Um, so we're gonna pick a word that we think our favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your palm the most. So basically, this is how we choose which girl we're gonna date. I see. There's like choices within the dialogue as well, but this is we have to pick a word that we think each person will like. So, as a classroom, who do we want to date? <laughs> as a classroom? As a classroom. Let's pick not one of the two that I'm voicing. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, I, I, will, I would like uh, to see the two of you romance. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's not a chibi, so sorry. Yeah, not here, not not an option here yet. Yes. So, so, is there only the three to choose from, really? Uh, these three, yeah, for now. For now. What the fuck so does that So basically, like, you're going to have one of us in order to date Monica later? Well, so I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> that is totally what happened. Back the fuck up off But by <laughs> dump, we mean murder. Okay. Oh. Of course. It's Japan. There has to be at least one murder in any dating zone. Well, okay, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be a little bit meta here. I'm sorry. Right. You've already played this game twice. I have played this game twice, You yes. have already picked two of yes. the girls. Mm -hmm. We should probably just pick the last one. I know all of the paths. Oh, so okay. Well, then that doesn't, mean, that doesn't really Also, matter. like, the only girl that I haven't dated yet. And All right, Jesse likes trouble. the girl with the bow. Let's do the girl with the bow. What do we say, Ori? Our yes. childhood friend? Yes. We're not doing sweet little Yuri? <laughs> no. Okay. She's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do Sayori. So, they're going to give us a, su a subsection of words, and we have to pick the word that we think Sayori will like. Yeah. Now, the thing is, is that everyone will like one of these words. It's not guaranteed that we will pick a word that Sayori likes. Oh, so, there's a chance that we will try to go for Sayori and end up with Matsuki. Okay. She is so much cheer, it's not even funny. <laughs> but I like agonizing as well. So we're going to go with agonizing? No, that is definitely a Yuri word. I yeah. don't think agonizing is <laughs> a Yuri word. I mean, she's into horror and big words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I feel mean, like it's probably like cheer and sunset. Amazing and dance. We only get to pick one of these. Oh, so damn it. Settle on one. We're going to get cheer. a whole new set of words. Cheer? Right. Let's go with cheer. Let's... Oh, that actually worked. Nailed it. All right. Word. Got All right. One. Okay. We also have to pick 20 of these, so let's maybe step okay. up the jams. Um, uh... Hopeless. Sugar. Sugar? Sugar. Nope. Oh, well, close enough. Um... Boop. <laughs> boop is a word. No, boop is definitely a cutesy oh, word. Yep. The pink-haired one likes cutesy words. She does like cutesy words. And, uh... I had a very hard time distinguishing between Natsuki and, uh... Holiday? Sayori. Um... Fireworks. Fireworks? Yeah, let's say fireworks. Yay. All right, cool. Um, let's say... Depression, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> Exist incongruent. Incongruent? Uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna say peace. Go with peace. Uh, peace. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> um... Because we're not getting sticky. your words. Sticky? Fireflies. Go with sticky just because I'm curious. Sticky. Jesse. Sticky. <laughs> sticky. 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 Nope. What the crap? <laughs> she bakes, guys. You're right, you're oh, right. That's true, that's true. Come on, she bakes. Um... Joy, flour. Fun. Pleasure. Fun. <laughs> Uh, fun? It's fun, fun or joy. Fun or joy. Yeah. Oh, it is. Look at that. I figured that would be not uh, After image? Uh. Um. Action. There's some... Sunny. Oh, it could be sunny too. Let's go sunny. Nice. Um. Uh. Vivacious. Sure. Hmm. That's ex I mean, it's nope. an interesting oh. word, if nothing else. It was too big. It was it too was. big for her. Um, There's themes. Vibrant. If you look at all of these. Funny. Words. Funny. No, that's definitely going to be uh, not Cutesy deep. girl, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, vibrant, maybe? No, that's maybe I, I think Maybe just color? Color? Yeah, colors, because that's yeah. the easier of the two. Vibrant. Right. <laughs> Those vivacious I, I really cool. hope that we get a Mad Lib style poem at the end of all this. Right? <laughs> no. um, there, are, there are jokes online, because we do share our poems, and we there's just pictures of the main character she's holding up a sheet of paper that's like, milk, depression, <laughs> color, waterfall. <laughs> Let's try play. I think play. Uh, play? I yeah. think so too, yeah. Nice. Um, How I eat? No. No, that's... Uh, playground? Uh, could be playground. I'm I'm thinking jumpy, jumpy, actually. This jumpy. is getting kind of dark. Love jumpy. Jumpy? Yeah. yeah. Nope. Oh. oh, no. Okay, wow. Doki Doki. Is that... Un oh, yeah. Roll yeah. credits. I'm really <laughs> Is that the name of the game? Um, bubbles, maybe? No, bubbles. that's too cutesy. You're probably right. Um... I don't think disoriented. 
Uh, maybe parfait? No, that's baking related, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Aura? No. Uh, Mouse? Maybe vivid. vivid. Let's try vivid. vivid. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I thought maybe. If it has more than two syllables, like it's a dead giveaway, right? Vivid only has two Wait. syllables, but that's fine. Effulgent? Yeah. <laughs> this is getting like way above my reading level. <laughs> um, Yuri likes big words. Maybe it's, maybe it's shiny? Maybe that's the one shiny? I'm for? No, okay. Perfect. Either way, I'm voicing her love interest. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry. Word. Strawberry? No, that's food. Not yeah. anime. Anime is definitely. We're making a hard out. drift towards Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> Sing? Sing? Let's try it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wait. Probably Still me. childhood. I feel like summer or childhood. Wrath. Childhood. Sayori is his childhood friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nailed it. Hmm? Um. Peaceful. I feel like Peaceful went to uh, yeah, Natsuki Peace last was time. Natsuki. Peace was Natsuki. I don't think so. Are you sure? Yes, oh, it was. Pick it one. was. Uh, hair. Hair? Just hair. Just hair. Just yeah, hair. She just she hair. A... Uh -oh. <laughs> You'd figure that would be Yuri. She has the most excitement. hair. Excitement. Excitement. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest. I picked hair just because I thought it would be funny in a poem to have just the word <laughs> hair. Right Strawberry hair. Heaven <laughs> sent. Desire. Desire. Friends. They've been friends their whole lives. Friends. It's gotta right. be friends. Yeah, it has to be friends. All right, yeah. last one. Contamination. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> silly bliss, summer, adventure, playground. Contamination. I bet you it's silly. P please just end on contamination. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> summer hair contamination. All right, we did it. The summer hair contamination. We've Hi again, Shango. We've written our first poem. Glad to see you didn't <clears throat> away, run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Shango. I hope it isn't too overwhelming to commit for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it, ellipses. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, Baka. But if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth to someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M, M, M. Mm. <laughs> Fucking Monica. <laughs> Natsuki finds yourself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Man, man, Manica? Manga ka. <laughs> manga is literature. Manga ka is swiftly defeated. Name. Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys, Tilda. Chango <laughs> always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Burying the body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't you? Oh, that poor Shango. <laughs> <laughs> the real Shango cat showed up. Yes. <laughs> A cat's name is Shango. Walking into the room to be part of Doki Doki. <laughs> Well, we keep saying his name. Right. It might be a little jealous. I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Shayo could become good friends, too. Um. Sayori. Hmm? Ellipses. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh. You even brought you something today, you know? W wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori maybe made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? Hmm. I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I... Is that so? 
Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. You see my boobs? <laughs> Mary reaches into her back and pulls out the boobs. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. Why does my mouse keep ending up on one of their boobs? <laughs> Coincidence? I think. Um, anyway. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. Wow, that was me. <laughs> and we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. You've obtained the book One Fish, Two Fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> This, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Oh, it's she not an accident. She even picked out a book she thinks I like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is running, rummaging around in the closet. Time passes. Time passes. <laughs> Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. Apparently we fucked it up so bad we didn't get any of the cards. <laughs> How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really late compared to all the other clubs, though. Good thing Sayori doesn't project your voice towards the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's not super excited about this. <laughs> hmm. Well, we can't give up. We can't give up. Sorry. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way to show, of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to our, their creative minds. Mm. <laughs> oh. That doesn't sound fun though, right? Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place It's just a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. <laughs> the thing. The thing. Have you tried doing the thing? The What's ritual. this? Sayori's taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In this case, do you think food will be the, do the trick? I mean, we got the last sacrifice with Cupcake. What kind? <laughs> uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Vindication! Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. She has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> that works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> hey, finish your sentence. <laughs> my creative tummy. Tilda. Tilda. <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Any <laughs> anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life! I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, hello! <laughs> Ooh, wow, Ethan! Now see exclusively her eyes. <laughs> right? I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> it's your fault for sleeping like that. 
This isn't the napping club. I would join the I would join the crap <laughs> out of the napping club. Would too. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> <laughs> you're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. You're just joining the anime club. <laughs> I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. You hit Tilda. It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing, Ellipses. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew. knew. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. N -n 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 <laughs> At least give me the benefit of the doubt, finger poke, finger poke, finger poke. I can't even do that. Look, Siori, it's written all over you. Eh? Siori glances around at herself. She's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> How is it written all over me? She's just she's scatterbrained. <laughs> yeah, let's she's go with bubbly, that. Jesse. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I'm your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Mom? <laughs> hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll have to thank me later. <laughs> what? Start to button your blazer from the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> Once you see right how there. much better it looks, you'll change your mind. This is just a really awkward picture. <laughs> fan service. This is so. This isn't even fan service. What is? is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah, hyphen. I guess. Hey, be careful. He might touch the my boobs. The buttons might come off. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully <laughs> close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did, but I bought it. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. I hate you for making me bigger. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> I can't. Anyway, like that. <laughs> you look much better now, so. Now that she has boobs, or now that her legs are <laughs> right? Uh, why not both? Why is it boobs got bigger? Why does it feel so strange to see Sari's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh, <laughs> it's not working at all. Sari hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew, that's so much better. Sari puts her arms out, and twirls around. <laughs> you don't have to actually throw <laughs> him. I love it. He's, a character. <laughs> He's a method actor. Folks. Yeah. Everything that I describe Sari doing, he will continue to I, do. I am a meth head actor. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so if I keep this on button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. 
stop saying all those embarrassing things. I'm a super stop. dense protagonist. I don't realize that this girl that I grew up with loves me. Eh? Okay. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Please stop. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. <laughs> I got halfway through the sentence and decided to power through anyway. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> Thank you, Chester. <laughs> I guess we really are better taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. That's what an adult relationship is. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Or just sleep in my bed. <laughs> doing it again, Sayori. Ah, oh, but I was joking that time. <laughs> Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. So maybe it's because she wasn't really joking. <laughs> okay, everyone, stop flirting. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Well, why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, good! Yay! <laughs> Shango, I can't wait to read yours. Contamination? Yes, yeah, <laughs> I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last uh, night? Did you fuck it up <laughs> at, at all? Uh, did you yeah. do the fucking job I assigned you? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Kill them. Thank you. <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a crinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. All right, now we're going to take a quick break, and we will share our poems next time. All and right. by next time, I mean actually in like three seconds for you guys. <laughs> or a full day, since that's how episodes work. Yes, it's tomorrow. We slept in the room. Anyway, <laughs> be right back.